All right, here we have the CF Moto Papio. I just bought this last weekend on St. Patrick's Day. And now CF Moto is a Chinese motorcycle manufacturer. They also manufacture side-by-sides and quads, and they've been selling them here in the States for quite some time. But not their motorcycles. They just started selling these motorcycles, I don't know, a couple years ago maybe? So I bought one. I wanted to see just how fun they really are because you see a lot of YouTube videos of people on these small 125s and they're just having a blast. I saw a video of Chase uh, from Chase on Two Wheels uh, riding one of these and he was uh, talking about how fun it was. And so I was like, you know what? All these videos, I'm going to go ahead and get one. My honest opinion, this bike is not for me. Matter of fact, I kind of feel guilty calling it a motorcycle because uh, it really behaves more like a moped. A moped that you have to shift. I think you would get probably more enjoyment out of a scooter because you'll go just as fast and you won't have to shift the darn thing. So all of the other bikes in my stable are significantly more powerful than this guy. But I, uh, I drank the Kool-Aid a little bit and saw the videos and I was like, you know what, all these dudes that ride bigger bikes are still having fun on this bike. As a matter of fact, at the dealership, the parts guy told me when, as I was buying this, he's like, yeah, man, I've ridden all kinds of motorcycles, big bikes. I've ridden bikes with turbos and still the most fun I've ever had is on these small 125s. And so I was like, wow. I got a 126, so I should have 1cc more fun than that guy. But, I'm sorry to say, it is slow. Um, I don't get it, y'all. I don't see it. <laughs> Maybe if I had a bunch of friends who also had these, and we rode around town cutting up and acting silly, maybe that'd be more fun. But, if you're riding one of these, and you're, you're just getting it for yourself, um... I don't know, especially if you're an experienced rider. As a matter of fact, this uh, dude on a bicycle saw me pulled over here, and he's like, oh, man, I'm glad I finally got to talk to somebody. I've been wanting to talk to somebody who owns one of these because I'm thinking about buying one. And uh, so we got to talk and come to find out he uh, is an experienced rider. His last bike was a GSXR. And I was like, oh, no, nah, bro, you, you don't want this. <laughs> you're coming off of a Jixxer. You do not want to get on this thing because you are going to be very sad um, because, listen, it's not CF Moto's fault. I'm not saying this is a bad bike. That Don't get it twisted. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, if you're an experienced rider and you ride more powerful bikes, then this is probably going to be very disappointing to you. It is to me. Um, it's a pretty cool little bike. Um, it seems to be fairly well made. Again, it's a Chinese product, but I mean, it starts every time. Um, the only issue I've had with it, and mind you, it's brand new. I've got, uh, it had 0 0.3 miles on the odometer when I bought it. It now has 85 miles on it. And, uh, really the only issue I've had with it is the gear indicator. When I, when I'm in sixth gear, the gear indicator just goes blank and sometimes it'll come back and show me that I'm a six gear sometimes I just have to pull the clutch in and let it out real quick and then the gear will pop back up but it only happens when I'm in six gear I don't know what that's all about but other than that the bike performs I guess as it's as a 125 or 126 in this case is supposed to um, honestly again I don't think it's the bike it's not the Papio's fault I don't think I would be happy on a Grom. I don't think I would be happy on a Z125. It's just the power's not there. Uh, it, I just don't see the fun in being wide open most of the time just to keep up with traffic on a 45 mile an hour road. I, I don't get it, y'all. Uh, but don't let that discourage you from buying one. I'm just giving you an honest review. And uh, while I don't have buyer's remorse, I don't have a regret because I do have a use for this. I plan on letting my wife learn how to ride on this um this is a bike that's not going to get away from you it's it's so slow uh but it would be a great bike to teach someone who's never ridden before the fundamentals how to let the clutch out how to operate the brakes how to shift it does have six gears it's got a six gear transmission now that's something that the grom and the z125 can't say i imagine like if you took this to like a go-kart track and you just went wide open all day that'd probably be pretty fun but out here on the city streets i don't know man i don't get it
But y'all let me know. Y'all let me know if I'm missing the mark or if I'm missing something or if there's something that I'm doing that's keeping me from being able to enjoy this bike. Um, it's uh, it's just, uh, it's meh. I mean, <laughs> I've had it up to 63 miles an hour. I'm still breaking it in, which that's a whole joke in itself because the owner's manual tells you that for the first 300 miles, you can't, or you shouldn't go over 4,000 RPM. That's like 21 miles an hour on this thing. Where in the city are you going to go 21 miles an hour without getting ran over? And then from 300 miles up to 600 miles, you can't take it past 6,000 RPM. Okay, now you've made it up to like 32 miles an hour. So where are you going to go? What does CF Moto expect you to do? Ride 600 miles in parking lots? I just don't get it. I, the whole break-in of this bike is uh, is hilarious because you're on such a tiny bike, you cannot keep it below 4,000 RPM uh, if you don't want to get ran over and killed out here. So forget about that break-in. I'm breaking it in just like I have all of my other bikes that I've ever owned. I just ride it as I would every day. I don't keep it at one certain RPM for long periods of time. I vary the RPMs, but as far as the RPM limits for break-in, I don't pay attention to that. I just ride how I would normally ride and that's how I've done it on every bike I've ever owned in my entire life and I've, it's always served me well and that's what I plan on doing with this bike. Um, it's got LED lights, it's got a pretty good display. There's your display there and uh, it starts every time. It's never not started, it always starts right up. Um, it's probably, this sound's gonna be crap through my helmet but pretty quiet. Got your headlight there. It's a good looking bike, man. I don't uh, I don't have any issues with the looks of the bike. It's I love the colors, I love the look of it. Um, kind of got looks like a, a wasp, almost almost kind of like a MT07-ish vibe, like that wasp's head front end. Um, and it's one thing I will say about this bike, I thought I was gonna be cramped on it, but I am surprisingly very comfortable on this bike. It does it's not too small. And I thought it would be. Now just for reference, I am 5'11 and I weigh 220 pounds. So yeah, I'm fat. I'm a little bit of a chubby bunny. Um but I fit very well on this bike. Oddly enough, it's weird. I thought I would uh not fit well, but the way it's set up, man, it uh I mean it, it it's good. I probably look like a clown on it, uh, you know, fat guy on a little bike, but it's very comfortable. No issues with uh, seating position, handlebar position, everything is good. We'll jump on, go for a ride, go for a ride on this little CF Moto Papio 2023 version of it. With the 126cc power plant single cylinder. Got disc brakes front and back. Um, for what you pay, the money you pay, I mean, I think I think you get a pretty decent amount of features for a small bike uh, that costs less than two thousand dollars, brand new. Um, but uh, I don't know, man. I'm I'm sticking with it. Don't don't get me wrong. I, I'm going to continue to ride it. Um, I'm going to continue to try to have fun with it. But just right now, initial impression, after 89 miles of riding it, um, I don't get the, the small mini bikes, uh, you know, Grom, Z125, Papio, 125 class of motorcycles. I don't get it. I don't get, I don't get the fun factor like I see in videos and, and whatnot. Um, but I don't know, maybe it'll come to me. I keep sticking with the bike and maybe... Uh, Maybe I'll figure it out. Maybe it'll come to me. Maybe I'll have a light bulb moment where I'm like, oh, this is how you have fun on this type of motorcycle. But it's just a little difficult because it has no power. It's got no guts. Full throttle. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, I guess, I don't know. For some of y'all, that might be fine. That might be... 
that might be just fine but I'll put it to you this way today I rode my MT-07 to work and I had been I've been riding this thing um, every day after work but today I rode my MT-07 to work and <laughs> when I got on it and I started to go I was like holy crap I've been riding the Papio too much this week because uh, <laughs> It's, it, was a, it, it, it surprised me like I, I surprised myself a little bit taking off on the MT-07 because it's just such a completely different feeling than this thing nice land cruiser don't see those every day Woo! Ooh, that 126 cc right there baby I mean, this is wide open before every shift. It's all the throttle she's giving her all she's got. <laughs> but there it is, six gear. It does have six gears, as indicated. Um, you got a gas gauge on the instrument cluster. There's a lot of more, a lot of expensive bikes that don't even have a gas gauge. Hell, my KLR doesn't have a gas. My KLR doesn't even have digital um, display. It's all analog, which I'm not hating on, but I'm just making the point that this Chinese sub $2,000 motorcycle you know it's got some decent features that you probably wouldn't expect on a Chinese bike that costs $19.95 so you got to give it credit there and again I have to say I'm not blaming CF I'm not saying CF Moto is a crappy brand I'm not saying this motorcycle is crappy what I'm saying is I ride bigger bikes that's what I like and riding this is just it's just meh <laughs> you know what I'm saying uh, if you needed some uh, cheap transportation and you lived in an urban environment a city and you had to commute to work and maybe your work is in the city and you never had to leave the city to go from your house to work and you needed some extremely cheap and good on gas transportation maybe this is for you I will admit I drank the Kool-Aid I watched the YouTube videos all these fools up there giggling and carrying on talking about how fun the little 125 is oh this Papio was so much fun blah 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 and I drank that Kool-Aid man bought one and then I'm like oh damn <laughs> they got me oh they got me Look at that, I can pass a, what is that, a GMC Denali? Yeah, pass. I can pass me a GMC Acadia. There you go, the little Papio doing some passing, baby. Oh, I can pass a Hyundai. All right, let's go. Come on, Mercedes. You got a, a Papio behind you, baby. You got to go. Let's see, I don't really know what, what else more I could say about this thing. I'm trying to imagine what kind of questions a person would ask about this bike. Is it fast? Hell no. Does it have any torque? Hell no. I think it's a uh, nine horsepower and y'all can look up the stats on this. Y'all don't need me to tell you, but I'm just going to estimate. I think it's around nine horsepower on this thing. And uh, I think six uh, foot pounds of torque. I'm not going to talk crap about CF Moto because this bike so far i mean i'm only a week and 95 miles in but so far i mean this it's not bad it's not bad at all i can't really say anything ugly about it um because what i complain about on this bike i'm certain i would complain about the exact same thing if it were a honda grom or if it were a kawasaki z125 and those two bikes don't even have six gears but see this is how i this is the really i feel like this is all i can do on this bike is ride around in neighborhoods and low speed roads and parking lots because i just don't feel safe going out like for example this road that where you see traffic going across that is a 55 mile an hour zone and there's no way in hell my ass is going out in there on this bike not gonna do it but i go in this parking lot yeah, see, I'll do this. I'm not going out on that 55 mile an hour road, but I'll do this. I'm not going to run over you, and even if I did, it probably wouldn't hurt. It's a Papio. I see you, lady. Don't be, don't be skirt. 
fat guy on a little bike. Why is this person in my lane? That's a, that's a very strange move there, lady. We were playing chicken there for a minute. And I'm going to tell you what, you ain't going to win a game of chicken on a damn CF Moto Papio. I don't know, maybe it's growing on me. Maybe I am having a little bit of fun right now. Oh man, I don't know y'all. Now I'm a little conflicted. Maybe it is. Is it fun now? This is like a transformation happening right in front of your eyes. Look, you, you know, I was talking about the build quality of this bike and the one thing, this clutch lever, no bueno. Look at that. Brake lever doesn't do that, but the clutch lever, and I don't think that's unique to my bike. Uh, I've seen other videos uh, with the Papio and people, this clutch lever is just loosey goosey. See, what else? People complain about the mirrors, but they're fine. I don't know, people, it, People are oddly upset over mirrors. Like, for me, I want to be able to see what's behind me. So if they're big, goofy mirrors, oh well, so what? I can see behind me, which is the whole damn point. Now, people, they take put these bar-in mirrors you can barely see out of because they look cool. But I don't get it, man. It's, it's freaking mirrors. Who cares? I don't know. Y'all may love this bike, man. I, I don't know. During this ride, I'm... I've kind of kind of enjoyed this particular ride today it's nice weather here in Georgia it's about I don't know 70 degrees maybe 65 70 something like that nice evening all right that's it that's the that's all I got to say about the Papio. y'all have a good one